This messy scene is a display of hard work achieved by a small group of volunteers. Gout's Action Group, which has grown from five members to over 20, are concerned about the lack of respect for the Lincoln environment. I went to speak with the team to find out more. The two uh, days we did do the litter picks, it, we collected 83 large refuse sacks of rubbish, uh, lots of different items, cans, bottles, uh, and then some hardware which we couldn't actually bag, a, a toilet, hypodermic syringes, the lot. We might start doing other areas, cleaning up other areas. We're certainly talking about it. I just want things to look visually better and people feel better then about the community. It's not just aesthetic. The more work that Gout's Action Group do to make this a better place, it's for the people here obviously, it's for the environment because more animals are going to come back. I mean, you've got moorhens, ducks, swans, there's some white egrets all on this stretch of water. And they're going to nest here, they're going to breed here hopefully, so the more work we get done the better, to make it a better place for them. Last week we were down there and I was hanging off a rope under the bridge and someone threw a can over while I was there. Some people do not care, right? we do, and the more people that we can encourage to care as well, the better this place will look for longer. We're expecting to have to do it again, we will do it again and we'll keep doing it. And the more people that we can make sure they see that we are doing it, hopefully it will rub off on them. Currently the group is focusing on clearing up Sewell's Walk and Bolton Avenue. They will soon decide whether they will go beyond to Colston Road in order to make a bigger impact on the city's appearance. Jess Ward, LSJ Today, Lincoln.